Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on the commutativity replacement rule. There are three forms of this rule, but like associativity, commutativity is very basic. So the first version of this rule is using conjunctions. If you have the expression P and Q, that is the exact same thing as saying Q and P, where both Q and P could be simple sentences or complex expressions doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter the order that you list them in the conjunction. It could be P and Q, or it could be Q and P, doesn't matter, they're the same thing. Likewise, if you have disjunctions, P or Q, you can flip that as Q or P, and it doesn't matter, those are the exact same thing. And finally, if you have a biconditional, P if and only if Q, you can flip that to being Q if and only if P. That's the same thing. Just don't do that with a regular conditional. This has to be a biconditional for commutativity to work properly. Now, you've probably understood commutativity before. Maybe when you were in first or second grade, you realized that this is true because there's a very similar property in mathematics. And in fact, it's called commutativity as well. If you're looking at mathematics, that's the idea that one plus two is the same thing as two plus one. Here, this is just the logical extension looking into conjunctions, disjunctions, and biconditionals. So this is very basic, but you can actually do something very neat with commutativity involving implications. And we're going to explore that next time when we see how to use commutativity with two conditionals stacked back to back. And we, in the process, will get some great practice with replacement rules there because this one's going to be much harder than the last practice problem we had with replacement rules. So hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time when we do that practice problem. Join me then.